Meet Arnold. It seems that he's about to be robbed by a homeless bum. Or rather, he could be robbed if this lazy lunkhead at least had some money. Thank God, I was scared he was going to steal my camera. Let's see what's wrong with him. If he would have brushed his teeth even once, he would have definitely noticed he has an ulcer that hasn't healed for several weeks. This is a very alarming signal, and I know what to look for. Cancer. Even the frailest body creates millions of cells every day. But sometimes a bug occurs, a mutant is born, a cell that's different from the others. But it tries to hide this fact as much as it possibly can. If you have a healthy body, your immune system will easily detect this wayward cell. But if your body is engaged in constantly trying to treat itself, then it has no energy left to fight the cancer. Do you want one for yourself, Arnold? Easy. If your parents had cancer, then there's a 10% chance you'll get it too. No? A mutation can also be caused by radiation. For example, visiting the Chernobyl nuclear power plant without protection. Or living for a thousand days on the International Space Station. You could also smoke six cigarettes a day or eat two kilograms of smoked meat for 10 years. You won't even have time to blink as this cell will turn into a huge cancerous tumor. Look, the food inside of him can't even get to the stomach. Mutated cells make their way into the bloodstream and then spread throughout the body, into the liver, the lungs, and the brain. It's time to apply poison. Chemotherapy doesn't cure cancer. It kills it. But healthy cells also have to die along with the cancer. Arnold, get out of there! You ate a burrito which contained the eggs of some very smart tapeworms. Arnold, just look at this. They built a whole metropolis inside of you. They even built a zoo. Let's check out the zoo. Today's Monday, so there's a 50% discount. My God, this is a zoo of pathogenic viruses and bacteria. I admire your interlopers. Spanish flu, plague, Ebola, tuberculosis, swine and bird flu and a bunch of other rare pathogens all in one place. Look, there's even my favorite, the little studied baronavirus, also known as sad horse disease. It mainly affects horses, cows, rabbits, and other animals. Arnold, I wouldn't put my fingers in the cage if I were you. It's suspected that the infection causes schizophrenia. Arnold, unfortunately, your stomach hurts due to parasites. Look, they're building a highway in your intestines, a water park in your bladder. If they build a data center in your head, you'll most likely kick the bucket because your head is so small. You need to figure out how to expel them from your body. The sooner, the better. If you open all the cells of this Pandora Zoo, most likely it'll help you expel the worms. Come on, Arnold, go ahead. It's better to cough from a couple of days of Ebola than live with these worms inside of you. Ooh, Arnold, looks like someone had some fun last night. And something tells me your brain is probably just as much of a mess as this room. You really don't remember anything at all. Arnold, could it really be? Last night, did you finally become a real man? Congratulations, Arnold. This is your first alcohol intoxication. And these are the first unpleasant consequences of a new acquaintance. Arnold, how about a toast to your new friend? Ah, well, I see, of course. If you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Arnold, did you really want to make a lifelong reminder of this event? At least you'll have something to tell your friends about later. As you can see, the consequences of alcohol intoxication don't just damage your health. They damage your bank account, too. Oh, you were unmatched in generosity last night, Arnold. You were the king of the party. Hmm. Now, where's your tooth? Anything ring a bell? Nothing? No? 
Arnold, you didn't know this, but drinking too much leads to unnecessary aggression, and you certainly paid a price for that. Ooh, you found a solution. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you calling an ambulance? Ah, you decided to recharge your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. One of them, acetic acid, has a particularly nasty smell. Hey Arnold, you sure you still want to sleep after eating? Sadly, you can forget about sleep. Cerebellar functions are impaired after alcohol intake. As soon as you close your eyes, the cerebellum ceases to have enough data for orientation in space and starts transmitting broken data to the cerebral cortex. Say hello to bed spins. Poor Arnold. It's a pity just to look at you. Let me give you one piece of advice. Right now, a cup of hot tea will save you. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket and fall asleep so soundly that no prince can possibly wake you up with his kiss. Arnold, I told you it would help. Well, I congratulate you on your second birthday. Don't forget, Arnold, behind every mask of joy lies some seriously nasty things. Come on, you did this one to yourself. See you next time, Arnold, when we hope you'll finally have your head screwed on right. Do you like it salty? The main thing is not to overdo it. Oh, again, you're behaving like a total... Although, never mind. Let's see if you're worth your salt. Just look how salty everyone is. Well, almost everyone. You've angered the elite of society. I never thought that such worthy people, you know, salt of the earth, would be capable of locking someone in a warehouse. Throughout your life, you consume 1,100 pounds of salt. That's the weight of a grizzly bear. The norm is one teaspoon of salt per day. That's equivalent to six packs of chips, a large bucket of popcorn, or 128 cans of soda. Hit like if you didn't know that soda contains salt. Arnold, you're in a salt warehouse. What an irony. Here you have table salt, sea salt, black Hawaiian salt, and even the most expensive salt in the world, Amethyst Bamboo 9X. Its price is up to $100 for 8.5 ounces. Don't eat it, Arnie, or you'll be paying for it for the rest of your life. The word salary comes from the Roman word for salt. Until the 5th century AD in ancient Rome, soldiers were paid about 14 pounds of salt per month. Money and clothing were not provided. Therefore, soldiers had to procure these things themselves. Arnold, you shouldn't have eaten so much salt. It's caused swelling in your head and extremities, as well as nausea, dizziness, and weakness. And your body wants to pee 15 times a day. You'll never want to buy salt again, buddy. In 1930 in India, the British introduced a salt tax. Protesters, led by Gandhi, started a march of 920 miles to the Arabian Sea to evaporate free salt from it. 90,000 people were arrested and salt riots broke out across the country. Oh no, Arnold! Arnold, don't tell me you're gonna drink from this lake. But don't worry, Arnold. If a leech gets into your digestive system, it doesn't have time to harm you. It'll quickly dissolve in your stomach. But you have more than one leech inside you, buddy. You're now the face of the social program, Affordable Housing for Leeches. There are more than 500 types of leeches in the world, but only three of them are considered valuable for humans. It would take just 10 minutes for 335 leeches to suck all the blood out of you. And you, Arnold, have one 
thousand of them. Ah. Every second counts. To get rid of the leeches, you have to drink salt water. Sorry, Arnie, I didn't have another bottle. Drinking water from that lake was a bad idea, Arnold. Even a leech is smart compared to you. Its neurons were used for a biological computer called the leechulator. It can add prime numbers, and you can't. But don't go rushing to celebrate, Arnold. It seems you've somehow attracted the attention of some really dangerous little dudes. I understand it's hard to believe, but you better not move, buddy. Arnold, let the bees bite you. Bee venom is cool. It contains many beneficial substances that can defeat even fatal diseases. But in your case, you're more likely to die from a heat stroke than from a thousand bee stings. Bees covering your body will heat it up to 47 degrees Celsius. Ooh, Arnold, you're good. Indeed, electromagnetic waves from a mobile phone can disable a bee. A bee is like a navigation system with a bunch of sensors pretty much like a tiny little airplane. Apparently then, when flying, just like with big planes, mobile phones must be turned off. In fact, if you put a mobile phone operating at a frequency of 900 megahertz in a beehive, then all the bees will evacuate within 10 minutes and never return. Hold your breath, you'll die if you inhale gastric juices. We have seven seconds to pump out all the acids from the stomach while you're moving through the esophagus. Did you just black out? Just like a real piranha. When they're in a shoal, they can easily gut a whole cow in just 10 minutes. But the moment the piranha is alone, it faints from the slightest rustling. Fish need a lot of fresh water. Therefore, it will slam all four liters of the stomach with it. Here. Have a snack, Toby's favorite treat. But be careful with the teeth. A piranha bite is stronger than any other creature on Earth, even including dinosaurs. The last thing you'd want right now is a hole in your stomach. Actually, I have a plan. Toby, open your mouth and try to push Arnold out. Arnold, you go swim to the exit. Come on, guys, do it together. Arnold, you seem to have confused the entrance with the exit. Turn off your Google Maps and start crawling. Toby, you keep trying to push him out. You won't be able to get out of there dry. Now, where did I put my five-liter enema bag? Oh, here it is. That's better. Now you just have to swim for about four meters. Crikey, the things you've been putting in your mouth. I haven't seen a Tamagotchi since the 90s. The water's almost finished. Paddle to the light. Mm. And once again, he's surviving on just $5 a week. Hey, Arnie, maybe it's time you find yourself a decent job instead of agreeing to dubious offers from strangers. New burrito-flavored toothpaste? What the heck? No, don't eat it, you moronical! Toothpaste contains fluoride, and eating as little as 0.01 ounces of toothpaste can increase the level of fluoride in your body. If you were to eat like this for 30 days, you could develop fluorosis, and then your mouth would turn into an art gallery, where each and every tooth would have a different and unique pattern and color. Arnold, I think you're best at monetizing experiments on your own body. But there is a little problem. Not just tourists want to take photos with you, but also dentists. After all, you're the only person who's been eating toothpaste for a week. It's hard to believe, but if you eat toothpaste with fast food, the risk of suffering from obesity increases by several times due to the antimicrobial agents that are supposed to fight bacteria in the oral cavity. They'll destroy the microbiome in your stomach, disrupt your metabolism, and blow you up like a birthday balloon. I have two pieces of news. The good news, your dealer has been caught and is facing jail time. And the bad news, you're in horrendously awful condition, and your diagnosis is toothpaste addiction. Yes, who would have thought that because of some toothpaste, you'd end up on the verge of death? Now, a long and serious rehabilitation awaits you. Triclosan is a substance in some toothpaste that can knock out your nervous system from just one tube. You'll feel your limbs go numb, and chills will run through your body nonstop. But running will probably be out of the question for you, as your nerve neurotransmitters will lose control over your muscles. Arnold, it's time to stop with the toothpaste. And there's only one really effective method, a body reset. Voila, and you're good as new.
So you decided to eat only spicy food to become like your favorite superhero, the Blazing Surfer. You're in for a hell of a job. Super spicy peppers, mega spicy wasabi chips, KFC wings. Oh, Arnold, I wish you'd be more careful. Capsaicin is responsible for the spiciness in all products. It affects the taste receptors, creating a sensation of burning. This triggers an adrenaline rush, increases heart rate, and raises body temperature. Spicy food satisfies hunger faster and increases energy expenditure, and this contributes to weight loss. But an excess of spicy food can provoke gastritis. That's indigestion. With regular consumption, the sensation of spiciness becomes dull. 